Helium HNT has officially retraced back to $3 after scraping the bottom of the charts throughout the bear market. This retrace seems far more sustainable than other charts out there over the past few weeks, and the Solana ecosystem has never been stronger. Just yesterday, Helium Mobile was named the official wireless sponsor of the Miami Hurricanes, an area with over 1,000 boosted mobile hexes. The boosted hexes in the Miami area combined with the exposure of being the official wireless sponsor of the Hurricanes should certainly fuel even faster data usage and deployment in the mobile network over the coming months. Of course, these are two of the most important metrics being monitored to help us gauge the value of the network and its tokens. What is up, everybody? And welcome back to another video here in the Crypto Compound channel. Thank you all so much for being here. I hope you guys are having a great day. Please hit that like and subscribe on the way in. Today, we're talking about HNT and we're taking a look at this chart. We have just crossed the $3 level or pinged it up here just a few hours ago. Really, really nice to see after this giant and painful accumulation base that we've experienced. And we have obviously ramped up and made these two or three separate markups higher all the way to the $3 level. After we reached the $2 level, only took about two weeks to get to the $3 level. Really good to see people are going to really start to take notice of this, especially inside the Solana ecosystem. And of course, having the Solana ecosystem as a backdrop here for Helium and its subsequent subnetwork tokens is certainly a benefit. It's crazy to think that Helium uh, was so far ahead of the D rest of the deep in space that it actually had to build its own L1 originally. But I'm so happy the change has happened and it's been obviously very successful. And the ecosystem has just grown tremendously uh, since the announcements. But this is a beautiful looking chart. As we can see, we broke through both of these resistances, which were very, very real. And as you can see, the way we broke through them is almost identical. We shot straight up through them and then we came back and we back tested these support lines twice in both instances and marched higher. Of course, I would expect some sort of retrace here now uh, after this, this markup over the past few weeks, testing this $2.40, about $2.43 support line it's certainly not out of the question. I wouldn't be alarmed whatsoever. I think that would be very, very normal. But we can see that HNT has been outperforming the mobile token, which we're going to talk about now because it has the most significant amount of news and developments uh, that just recently happened and that will be happening in the coming months. But we can see that it's mostly been sideways. This is a four-hour chart for mobile token. Of course, market cap is significantly smaller and liquidity is extremely, extremely small for right now. But I think as things heat up and the mobile network grows, grows in size and adoption, I think we're going to start to see this thing really start to move. It's not going to take much being that the market cap is so small. It is fully diluted and the liquidity is, is really, really tiny. But we're going to highlight a few key aspects and developments in the Helium Mobile network right now. Just yesterday, there was the announcement of Helium Mobile being the official wireless sponsor of the Miami Hurricanes. Uh, this is a pretty big sponsorship. It was reported in one of the news outlets that it was a six-figure deal. So Helium Mobile is investing a lot of money into this partnership. And I do think that it's a very strategic one, being that almost all of the mobile hexes that are boosted are in the Miami area, or at least in the neighboring city areas. We're going to take a look at this map also in a little bit. These Boosted Hexes is a really, really positive campaign for Helium Mobile and is really encouraging strategic deployment of these Helium Mobile hotspots to get the most significant amount of data usage out of them. It is mentioned here that the partnership will launch with the Miami versus Notre Dame men's basketball game on December 2nd, and Helium Mobile shall also present Miami's men's and women's basketball starting five lineups throughout the entire season. Now, I think this not only is it going to get some serious exposure, but I think being a college program is also a very strategic part of this partnership because look, college students aren't making tons of money. They're not looking to shell out tons of money 
on a mobile plan. And being that the unlimited $5 plan does exist, I think they might really get a lot of people to start joining this network in this area. And apart from that, they might also be getting tons of people that learn about Helium Mobile and these boosted hexes and start deploying coverage in this area because all of these kids that live in this area have easy access to a lot of these boosted hexes. So that could really spark some serious growth in deployment and data usage. So both sides of the spectrum are gonna benefit here from this partnership. Uh, and there's also something I wanted to mention here. I saw this on Twitter yesterday. Uh, this guy is in California, but as you can see, he is pretty fed up with Boost Infinite and is actually going to try Helium Mobile. He says, tried over and over with Boost Mobile, but truly as incompetent as before. Gonna go to Helium Mobile for service. Gonna see how they are in my area. So of course, if Helium Mobile is not in this area, it will offload the service to T-Mobile, which is part of that strategic partnership. But really interesting to see that people not only are fed up with some of the ancient carrier service, but they also are actually becoming fully aware that Helium Mobile in fact even exists in their area. Really awesome stuff. And I do wanna highlight, before we talk about the boosted hexes, I do wanna highlight the growth in and the speed of adoption of the mobile network. We covered this chart in a video, I think in the er, in earlier this week, but these are the data credit transfers on the mobile network. As we can see, they are steadily, steadily increasing. This is, this is really all we can ask for up and to the right as far as data usage is concerned, data transfers are concerned, onboarding mobile hotspots is concerned. And if we go down, we can see that the total rewarded cells is also accelerating upward since the beginning of October. This is a beautiful chart. These are the total rewarded mobile cells on the mobile network. So both of these charts are indicating accelerated growth in the Helium Mobile network ecosystem. Really good to see. And of course, the mobile hexes have been around for a, a little bit over a month now, and it's a really awesome campaign to accelerate usage in really strategic areas. Because of course, as we've experienced with in the very beginning of Helium, people were deploying hotspots, or in, that, in the beginning, they were just generic IoT hotspots. They were deploying them in areas that really didn't have any usage. So they were just there. They were providing coverage, but there was no use for them. This campaign and this program is really getting concentrated coverage in specific areas. As you can see, if we zoom into the Miami area, they actually tell you what area these boosted hexes are designed to support. In this case, Novikov, Miami, which is obviously a very popular restaurant. So you will be providing service to these people in this restaurant. Obviously, it's if they're in the restaurant, it's not fast moving. So you're able to actually provide real service to people sitting in the restaurant. If we go up a little bit here, we can see Bayfront Park is another one. With all of these large towers around it, there can certainly be very strategic coverage being deployed and aimed at this area by people all over the Miami area. And as you can see, and as you can see, there are tons of these boosted areas in very strategic places all across Miami and the eastern coast of Florida. Lone Depot Park is another example here, 258 boosted hexes. So anywhere in this area, you will get 10x boost level of mobile rewards. These are serious incentives to start building, especially as the mobile token does start to increase in price and of course, HNT increase in price. So awesome movement here from HNT, awesome developments happening in the mobile network space, increased growth, increased deployment, strategic partnerships, it's all looking very, very good and it's being reflected here in this HNT price chart. But congratulations to anyone who is accumulating down below $2. Uns it's unclear and I think maybe unlikely that we return back under $2, uh, maybe ever here for HNT, uh, but we'll see what happens. Of course, we are subject to the greater crypto gods. Of course, if Bitcoin and Solana decide to take a dip, uh, Helium would, will surely follow. Uh, that's just the nature of crypto right now. But guys, this is really great stuff. Very exciting stuff to look forward to here in the Helium Network ecosystem. But thank you guys for being here. I really, really appreciate it. Please leave any questions or comments down below. Thank you for watching until the end. Please hit that like and subscribe if you have not already. But just like that, this video is over and I will see you 